Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are hopping back into seven days to die. And uh, well, we got some stuff to drop off, including our ever so lovely rocket launcher that I am so hype. We have a lot of rockets for that is going to be very fun to have a little bit of shenanigans with. Sounds like something might be outside, uh, but any anyways, I hope all of you guys are having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic day. I'm pretty sure I hear that annoying little thing still being alive out there in the distance, so that kind of sucks, but eh, I mean, we'll survive. We've been through worse, and I believe in us. I really do. We got great peoples here, and yeah, so to address a couple of things that happened in the last episode, uh, the 50 cal, turns out the sniper isn't a 50 cal, I was just calling it a 50 cal so it sounded cooler, turns out it isn't, uh, my bad, turns out also leaving these bodies lying around of the, is that, is, that wolf's not there anymore, okay, that's, that's always great when you lose track of a, uh, dog that is trying to murder everyone, yeah, that's always encouraging, so that thing's gone, no clue what the dealio is going to be with that. Why don't I just scope out this place real quick? Make sure everything's still looking safe. Haven't been any wall breaches. Today, we're going to be trying to focus a good amount on fortifying this base and making it stronger, more deadly, and a whole ton of other stuff. But that process begins by clogging up all the holes. Fortunately, there are a lot of holes. <laughs> there really are. We kind of got screwed on that. But like I was saying, I hope you guys are having yourselves a fan for a fantastic day. Uh, we got to destroy some of the old zombie bodies. Apparently, from what people are saying, those contribute to the heat map. I totally forgot about that. So thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that a ton from all of y'all. Oh, I'm t I took trap damage from that. Really? Really? I, I jumped up like right there. Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, that. And I think there was one more thing I wanted to talk about, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, let's go ahead. Hop right into it and start by making ourselves some of those wooden spikes. I want these. We can only get 17, but these we could get 23. I say we start with the wood log spikes. Let's begin by doing that. Now, unfortunately, the wood situation is not as great or generous as I hoped it would be, which really sucks for us. No bears here trying to maul us. We got a zombie down there. Let me just do a quick bear check. Make sure no one's no one's gonna eat my face. Okay, good to hear. Uh, we gotta go ahead and start harvesting up a little bit of wood then and preparing for some of this. And also, something you guys mentioned that is good is barbed wire traps. Apparently those are cheaper in terms of wood, which would be good for us because wood is definitely not our best. You know, why don't we just look through tools and traps and just kind of see what we got. So there's barbed wire fences, which require a good amount of iron. Realistically, it's 10 wood though, which is... Still a solid amount there, uh, and that's really all the traps that there are. Wow, really? That's it? There's loose boards, as sketchy as that is. I wonder if we could have some zombies falling into some pits, if that's the case. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, let me just fall back for a sec here, because I know the base is safe. We've cleared it out enough where it's good enough. The wooden logs continue to be made, which is always good. Those will keep getting put there. Still so have the hunting rifle on us. Probably won't be using that. We do have the sniper. But in terms of traps... Ooh, Scrap iron. Mm. Since I do plan on staying here for at least... We've already looted that. For at least another day. Not... Woo! How did we not break anything? Oh my god. I plan on staying here until the day 21 horde. I say we invest into some better stuff. We got the iron for it. Why don't we make some scrap iron spikes? as well. I'll go with 20 of them. I'll probably have these as kind of the more backup spikes, which will be surrounding this tower that we're going to find ourselves up in. Uh, while we're at it, I probably want a ladder up here too. I don't want that thing. So let's start fixing that up. Start. Eh, how many of these do we need? Four ladders ought to be enough. And then we just got to start by breaking this. That's going to take 50 hours. I uh, wonder if it collapse. I doubt it. Eh. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of way where we could make that not work and not have to break it, although we'll figure it out. The main way is going to be a ladder up here, at least that's what I want it to be. Uh, oh mama, those take a little bit longer to place, or a little bit longer to craft. Uh, I'll put that where the first aid kit is, although we could eat up the first aid kit. It's, we, to hell with it. I need the health, it's going to take a long time, and if we get hit or something, I'd rather have the luxury of knowing I might be a bit more safe. Okay, so... When it comes to where they're going to attack from, I think there's a couple of points we have to focus on, and that's going to be a pretty big, I feel like, point of what we try to do. I really wish I had more wood. That's honestly my biggest qualm with all of this, but whatever. 
Okay, so we're gonna start by fortifying this. Just kidding, we don't have the wood for that. Uh, well, we're gonna start by having wood spikes probably right around this time. Now, hopefully no wandering hordes come in and just poop on all of our dreams. That's a pretty common theme, if you guys know anything. <laughs> That's been happening quite a bit. Uh, we could even- Ooh, we could go on the inside of here and shoot the zombies. Oh, ho, ho, from afar. And especially because that will lure the zombies over here, which in turn could lead to them falling on these traps, giving us some easy shots, all that. So I'm going to try to fortify this side, because I think maybe we'll, we'll, we'll chill inside of this bunker. Although, I don't know. The problem with that is that right here, the zombies can just jump over the spikes and get here, and they will demolish that. We don't do a lot of damage to that, but for some reason, zombies go ham on this stuff. So you guys also asked if I got through to the gun safes, so threw out a couple of those places. I have not, unfortunately, I wish I did have time that we could have got through there, but it doesn't appear that that is the case, which sucks for us. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on, grabbing up good amounts of this wood, hopefully surviving pretty well, and keeping our eyes out for deadly zombies and snakes! Slippery, slippery snakes! What up, snake? Oh my god, of course that thing's right there. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep on continuing with this, and I will let y'all know how that go. Alright, so we finished there, unfortunately right by our military base, there's the biggest abundance of trees. So we're gonna get a little bit more ballsy and start heading inland. Now, this just kind of scares me because we've seen about four bears in this town. It's a town full of military encampments, but also a town full of very angry, once potentially cuddly creatures known as bears, <laughs> so we gotta keep our eyes peeled. Also dogs, those always suck, but oh yeah, especially that one right there, yeah. Well, that's a pretty big tree. Now I wonder if the decayed trees give us less wood than normal ones. Cause I feel like that might be a thing, but at the same time, I feel like it might not be, whatever. For now, let's focus on breaking this guy's face. Yeah, leveling up the blunt weapons a little bit, making those stronger. Maybe checking them for loot, seeing if they got anything, but Ooh, now that I think about it, there is another- I don't think we collected all the chairs in the first encampment that we visited. Ooh, and as you guys know, chairs are a very popular item for scrapping and getting a ton of wood for freeze. So hold on. Maybe we'll make a quick stop by here. We've already looted the place, like I've said, but we may not have looted everything that we should have. We got all the notable loot, but we did forget something slightly less notable, but much more interesting for our purposes. <laughs> hey, hello, old chairs. This is what I like to see. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it will add up. Is that multiple footsteps I hear outside? I don't entirely know. Regardless... We've gotten our chairs, so just to show you guys how awesome this is going to be, 26 chairs, scrap that down, 120 wood, pretty much for free. That, that's probably like one to true, 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 that words are hard, one to two trees worth of stuff, which is very good. Now there might be more chairs, I'm not entirely sure, and I don't think I want to waste too much time, yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be chairs here. Although I really hope those munitions boxes respawn some stuff. We could break into there, but I don't think I have my pickaxe on me right now. I think we put that back at base. We do have the claw hammer, so when nighttime hits, I'm thinking maybe we might head on down to the base. You guys have told me supposedly, very supposedly, but supposedly, if I use a hammer, or not the hammer, I think if I use a wrench, the dog's right there, I don't want to go to the dog. If I use a wrench, which I don't think I actually have, we might be able to craft one up. We need steel? Did they make the wrench, like, harder to get? Because I don't think I've found one in loot, either, oddly enough. This is weird, but okay, I guess we need forged steel, which is probably going to be harder. We can probably take this opportunity to start making some better stuff, which I think we ought to be able to do pretty easily, not too hard. Uh, also, another good thing about fortifying the military base is that there's already some barbed wire and some infrastructure for defenses, which is going to be very helpful. I wish we could have the shotgun turret, but honestly, we will probably have that ready, if I had to guess, by the day 21 horde. Because by then, I will do everything in my power to have a shotgun turret helping defend my base. Or the one that we've commandeered as our own. Alright. Ooh, 
miso. Hell yeah, I will take miso to the bank. I love miso. Miso is so dank. And I've never had it in real life, but in seven days, miso is dank. Oh, I get coal out of harvesting some of these trees? Hold up. I never realized that. That's actually super useful. If you guys are in this biome, now, I don't know how the wood collecting is. I don't know if these trees give you less wood, but I can tell you they give you more coal than the other ones. At least these bigger ones that are noticeably burnt. It looks like you get coal out of them. And coal is going to be pretty handy. We could start making some torches, which is probably something I want to do as well. Make sure we can actually light up our little place because usually it's not too well lit up. And ooh, now that I think about it, maybe in the morning... We could afford tomorrow to be our trip to the traders, looting everything, but our base... Okay, this is going to be a big decision for you guys. Comment section down below. I need to know. Do we spend the day of 14 venturing out? A little bit risky, but do we spend that day venturing out and trying to cop some loot through the airdrop? Through the treasure chest, although that digging... I don't think we have to dig. People were saying it's at the bottom, like it's at the top layer of water. Since it's underwater, you don't actually have to dig. Apparently that's a thing, which would make this a pretty easy trip for us. Along with that, we could stop along the traders, see if he has anything notable that could defend us in the day 14 defense. However, on the other hand, there's the issue where we might not be ready to defend the base already. Now, I'm going to try to focus putting down... Our defenses, kind of where it seems like the zombies like to attack our defenses. So far, that appears to be on the north and south walls. So we're going to be sticking to that. If we have extra time, I'll probably try to have those fortified as well. I hear... Is that... There has to be zombies coming towards me, right? Because I hear weird groans. All right, and you don't... These aren't the types of groans you normally hear. Ah, uh, there he is. Or she. I don't know. Is that a... He, or, I, I'm not entirely sure. I love how high our stamina stays, though. Ever since we've started investing in some of those perks, our stamina stays pretty awesome. So you can get scrapped. Let's get another axe. Should be around the same quality, and let's bust your brains in. We still got about two hours. This should give us a good amount of time to continue preparing while it's happening. Why don't we start? We just collected a couple. We ought to be able to get, like, ooh, that should be more than enough. Because like I said, I'm going to try to fortify the... T I'm not going to fortify this wall. It doesn't look like zombies have attacked it at all. Because I think zombies... I don't... I don't know. I don't want to make any hypotheses that are totally wrong. Whatever it is... We'll see how it plays out. I think that's just the... I think that's the best way of doing things. Still, I'd love to have a... Ugh. So that's what I was saying though with the wrench. I don't think I have the wrench. I'm gonna do everything in my power to craft it. Even overnight, we'll start doing some of the essentials such as the forge and all that. Potentially a little bit closer to underground. Because worst come to worst, if the horde becomes too much, we can retreat a little bit deeper into our base. It's gonna be hard though, because there's only one way in and one way out, really. It might be a little bit bad, might be a little bit ballsy, but... That's the cool thing about defending our tower. Worst comes to worst, we should be able to retreat and potentially escape the wrath of the horde. However, I'm scared. Oh, hello, pupper. I'm scared on what the horde might contain. Because I know there are stronger zombies in the game now. And that we haven't even seen them yet. Like, we've seen the updated skin for, like, the irradiated police officer, I think. But we haven't seen everything in the game. There's definitely a couple of new zombies in this update. That I'm scared for. And there's also some more coming out, I'm pretty sure. And why'd it get so dark? This is extra spooky. Whoa! What was that? Well, something stepped on the landmine. I think it might have been that dog. God, <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. <laughs> Whatever, we're getting wood. We ought to be able to put it down. See, now, oh, the problem is that that dog's going to be on the southerly wall. Alright, maybe we'll go to work on the southern wall closer to tomorrow. Also, we'll probably put some reinforcements around the gate since I think the gate... Actually, the gate might be stronger than concrete. I'll fact check that at night because I feel like I'm at the point where if we clog up all the holes, I feel pretty safe wandering around in the outside if it's inside of the military base. But I think I'll be good, so I think that's enough wood for now. 
Let's go back. Let's try to finish these fortifications. I almost totally started wandering towards the wrong town. That would have been bad. Let's try to wrap up some of these fortifications, shall we? Oh, we shall. We shall. I wonder if these things have anything. I feel like there should be something by here. You know, just like a random mound. Who just leaves random mounds out and about? Like, not anyone that I know. But anyways, game plan is... As I was saying, it sucks that I used a lot of my scrap iron, but to hell with it. It's for a good cause. I hate that I misclicked that there. Uh, but all of this stuff is going to be going along here. And we're just going to do this for the rest of the wall. We're not going to do the easterly wall. Just because it doesn't seem to be a hot place for zombies or anything to really attack us. I wonder if I can fortify... Can I... Wait, can I repair concrete? Oh no, it takes cement. We need a cement mixer for that. So there might be some holes in our defenses. Maybe I'll put some wood frames behind those defenses. Who knows? Okay, and then we'll continue with this. We don't have the wood to reinforce them, but hey, at least they're here. And hopefully, you know, no one wanders in and breaks all of them. Because that seems to be pretty common, uh, common practice. Okay, we do have the wooden ladder here as well. I'll go ahead and have that. There you go, so we can just kind of neander our way over here and be safe. That'll be the safe way of entering our base. And uh, I think we ought to be able to potentially, for the initial assault, honestly, I think being up on here might be surprisingly safe. Maybe we'll hold off on this tower. This way, all the zombies will be attracted here. There's a couple decisions to be made, and I think you guys are the ones to help me out with these. Because this is our series. Speaking of that, I hope all of you are having a fan freaking fantastic day! It's been a little while since I said that. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm off my game, man. I'm off my positivity game. Please, accept my apology. I just want to not get hit by this barbed wire. Oh, that's the first. Okay. It's time to turn on the light. Start seeing how things go. Do we have any more? I think we might have some. I'd love to get some of these spikes instead. Okay, yeah. Wait, we have 400 wood? Oh, damn. I'll take that. I mean, we have a good amount of normal wooden spikes on that wall. I say maybe we do this. And then I think the zombies... ...are to focus their efforts elsewhere. However, for the time being, I am gonna lock up and we're gonna start prioritizing a couple other things that we really gotta get to work to. Those wooden spikes are going to be nice. But anyways, we got the iron pipes. We got the clay. Uh, we, we have the stone. Yeah, we got the stone. What's the last thing we needed? Uh, not forge iron. Clay, that, the bellows. And the bellows are here. We can finally stay up to date and actually have a forge. Although the poopy thing is this forge might draw some heat to us. But regardless, we have it. That's good. That's nice. You know what isn't nice? The sound of angry zombies outside. Quite a bit of them, actually. Oh, no. They're in our defenses, aren't they? I think so. Ugh. I hate those things. Okay, whatever. Anyways, you guys are telling me if I go to a ranch and maybe we'll find some chairs down in the base. Or any sources of wood that we could gather. We still have this sawn off, too. Ooh. Do we have anything wood that we can even scrap? I don't think so. Okay, I was thinking maybe, but nah, I think we're good. Whatever. Okay, we got our stuff. Do we have a claw hammer? We do. I don't know if the claw hammer will do the trick. It's not a wrench, but it's still a pretty advanced, quote-unquote, advanced tool. Oh, man. There's a coy- I think- Was that a dog or a coyote? That might have been the coyote sound. Whatever. Okay. I'm still feeling pretty safe about this place, although... Oh, no, I thought that was a body. I think most of the bodies have decayed, too, so it's not like we have... I was gonna say, where does that lead to? Then I'm like, wait, that leads to outside. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have any more bodies decaying down here. That was another thing on my to-do list. Destroy any of those. And speaking of things to destroy, there might be a good crate behind here. Also, last episode, apparently I broke one of these. It dropped a backpack and people were like, Star! You know, whole mama! Wait, we already know how to craft an AK. Those things have to be above us, right? I hear them stepping on dirt. But just in case... Just in case that isn't dirt that we're hearing. No, I think we're good. Okay, can I... Does this do the trick? No, I think we have to use a wrench. Damn it, man. The only way we're getting a wrench 
is with some forged steel. And honestly, I say we do some of our forged steel stuff a little bit deeper in the base. I think that might be better for all parties. Although, it's gonna be a little bit further away and a little bit harder to get whatever. Let's let's go back to our tower. I think we'll be fine. If we don't have a wrench, it doesn't matter. We can't collect the parts we need to make cool electrical stuff. That's another big thing I want to do that I feel like might take a little bit, but I really want to get to. Is making sure we start doing electrical stuff. Because the electric stuff gets insane. Speaking of insanity, I don't know why. <laughs> The floor, the floor is lava, apparently, because nothing wants to be placed on it. Instead, it wants to levitate. Okay, well, you levitate your heart away. In the meantime, I got some serious business to chat about. We got to put some iron in there. Well, not there. In there. And some clay. Although, maybe not all of it. Although, quite a good amount of it. We'll go with 300 clay. There we go. That should give us a good amount of flexibility. We'll start smelting that down. Ooh, we'll use coal for smelting from now on. It's pretty plentiful. It ought to do the trick and all that. We can turn that on. What's it gonna stay take for forged steel? And also we have to learn it after buying the perk. Hmm. It's just gonna take a little bit more iron, a little bit more clay. Cause I want that wrench. Now what is this steel perk? Steel smithing. Tool smithing six. Science 3. Man. This is gonna be a hard perk to acquire. I don't think science should be too bad, but tool smithing. Getting that up to level 6? Oh man. Yeah. I mean, we gotta wait till us as players are like level 40 to have forged steel. Jesus, man! It's a little bit extreme, don't you think? God, I guess they really don't want... I guess we just got to focus on getting stronger or something, because as of now, not much. And we also don't have any points available. Uh, what level are we by chance here? I think it says if we, like, tab. If we had I? There we go. We're 26. Okay, so we got a little ways to go. Whatever. We'll start smelting that. At the same time, maybe not. Because we can't we can't craft anything new. We can only craft what we already have, which is forged with, with forged iron. I'm not too concerned about that, really. So, hmm. So I thought we could do it because we get a forged steel if we can. I don't think it's worth it. What's... I turned off the forge. Yo, what's over here? It's one of the fire ones, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> These nights keep getting harder and harder to survive. Okay, but if we look through here and what we can actually craft up, like, the machete blade seems pretty cool. Same with the insulator. Oh, we need glass for that? Ugh. Glass is gonna be annoying. We could do a machete, but we need a crucible for that. We don't have that, and that's gonna be a little bit tougher to acquire, because that's another thing we can craft from the steel crafting, right? I'm pretty sure we need the steel smithing. We gotta be able to make steel. So we kind of been bamboozled there. Yeah, like see the crucible. Actually, we might be able to craft it. No, we need the steel smithing perk. And that is a lot of stuff. Je Jesus! That much for 20 minutes to craft? God damn. That crucible's insane. I never even realized how crazy that thing is. Also, I don't think I'm gonna put down the, I'm gonna continue stockpiling wooden spikes, but because those things break so easily, I don't think I'm gonna put them down until we're actually safe about everything, but. Other than that, I'm gonna try to figure out if there's anything we can really do overnight. If not, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, so this is a little bit of a bright spot. I totally forgot a bunch of old chairs here in the cafeteria. That's gonna be some free wood. I'll take that. That's some more traps still. I seriously hate that apparently from what you guys are saying, my game's glitched and the only way we could have fixed it was by restarting. But, you know, I don't want to restart something that we're so deep into because apparently when we break trees, for some reason, we're glitched. I'm just gonna call it playing on hard mode, but we're glitched and we don't get the bonus for breaking a tree entirely. So that totally screwed us, which really, really freaking sucks. But I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it because anything that we could do, well, involves us restarting everything. Unless the most awful disaster ever happens, I don't really see a reason to do that. Woo! We made a boo-boo. We made a boo-boo. Shotgun rain! How are you alive, shotgun rain? 
Are you serious? How'd that thing survive? And we got infected? Dude, we took antibiotics like literally barely over a day ago. So turns out that there was a survivor down here. I turned the corner. He's chilling right there. I've been also trying to loot up more of this garbage. You guys have said uh, a couple of times actually that garbage can have surprisingly good loot. So I mean, I've just started to do it and hope that maybe we get super lucky and get something stupidly insane for no reason. But uh, apparently that has led to me getting crapped on by whatever that thing was. So that's bad, but whatever. We'll we'll survive. We'll cop the duct tape and we'll go ahead and start making our way back up because as is, eh, I mean, I think we're pretty good. I just came down here to try to do something to pass the time and hopefully find more uh, wood, which I did. I found a couple more chairs, which is really good. That's some bonus wood and that will go towards making our base a lot more secure. However, I think the bear, I think uh, good old Travis is back in town from what it sounds like. Good old, good old Travis. But you guys also said, hold on, where the hell does this go? I don't think we've ever, oh, hello. I seem to have forgotten about a room full of cardboard boxes. There's nothing. So whatever, we'll loot this up. Maybe one of them will be like a special cardboard box and then we'll start heading back topside. Oh, we got a working stiff full of nothing. What could I have possibly expected? Ooh, ooh, that's the Magnum magazine. I am totally cool with reading that, especially because we got a couple Magnum parts. Not a lot, we got a couple, but hey, you know, nothing to scoff at. It's better than nothing, and yeah, I'm gonna try to loot that up a little bit more, but we've, I think we've kind of checked around everywhere. It's still looking pretty safe, so we'll go back topside. It looks like we might have a, it sounds like we might have a fire zombie to deal with, which is, interesting at least that's what it sounds like uh, but after that we'll go back to fortifying the base and i think we're going to focus on the north west corner because i think that's where that giant bunker is that would be pretty good for us to stand on top of but hopefully nothing too bad happens hope we can get some torches i wanted to really get some torches so you guys can see as the enemy's coming and ready to poop on us because that's always the fun part and it definitely sounds no that might be that might be a wolf I can't tell. Also, I always get lost because it's so convoluted to get out of this damn place. Is this even the right way? That's not even the right way. Where am I going? Man, that's the thing. It's so compli- Okay, here we go. We got the right way. We got a little bit of an investigation to do. Because it sounds sketchy topside and we wasted about an hour in daylight, which sucks. Really, I always hate when we waste time like that, especially in our time of need like this. Uh, we can pop our last antibiotic though, so that's good, I guess. We can start putting away some of the stuff. I mean, I imagine some of this should definitely stack somewhere. And if it doesn't, well, we suck. But we got broken glass. I started scrapping that because that might be pretty useful in the future. Uh, I'll keep the iron on me. We'll put the paper away. We're not hungry right now. We'll put the lead away. We'll probably scrap the nails, put those away. Uh, and leather. And there we go. I think that's a pretty full inventory. I think we'll leave the rest with us. So all we're really going to be doing is not so much loot, but more of the other stuff. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear fire, and I hear animals. Oh yeah, there's a bear. Where is this bear? I see the pupper. I also see that thing. Is he getting attacked? Is that the bear? Dude. I think he's friendly. However, I'd love to shoot this guy and loot him up. If you guys don't know, that guy's known for having some solid loot. The infected police officer. Okay. Mm. I say we just go back to the east over here, climb it up, try to fortify this a bit more. Hopefully not get too sketched out by all the happenings. But if that bear gets in the way, I will not hesitate to deal with them. I don't know how much it's going to take. Probably a little bit too much for my liking, but... He's right there. Oh, that's a normal bear. That doesn't even look like a zombie one. Nope, now it's a zombie. <laughs> okay, I guess zooming in reveals his true nature. I really want to shoot that guy too. But... There's a lot of wildlife around right now. I don't know if I want to be the one disturbing them. Regardless... Do we have any more normal spikes? I think we should. Let's keep getting the normal wooden spikes crafted up. Voila. Six more. 
We'll kind of make sure to throw those down. But in the meantime, actually, nah, let's get a couple more wood log spikes so we can finish this up. Then we got to go out, find some wood, try to finish everything. But then I think tomorrow, tomorrow's video, we're going to try to, uh, well, we might have to try to clear the wildlife. You guys want to be helpful? Let me know what I should expect out of that bear. I've never fought a zombie bear like that, especially because they look bigger than they used to be. So please let me know if I should be expecting something a little bit worse than what I'm planning for. Because <laughs> if that's the case, man, we are in for a doozy. But other than that, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. We've been going for a good amount of time. Thank you guys a whole ton for joining along this adventure. Also, let's run away a little bit from all that wildlife. Okay, well, we got a crawler. We can smash his face in. That's never a big deal. But then tomorrow, I mean, I, I don't think we're going to go out for the loot and stuff. Like, the trader could have been good. But I don't- oh, that was a feral? Oh, hallelujah, his legs broke. That could have been so bad. Woo, hype, hype. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. It'll be ended off right around here. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. I'm thinking next episode, if, if the feedback is overwhelming for us to go and do something, uh, do get the, get the loot, we'll do that. But other than that, I think that this fortification is a lot more important and it should be able to do us a lot more good because fortifying the military base is a big step. Other than that, I think we're going to gather a lot of wood. Hopefully try to deal with that guy over there. Honestly, why don't we do that right now? Let's just try to maybe lure him over. And, uh, hey, big guy, how you doing? Boop! Oh, yeah, he's coming over, right? Oh, <gasps> hello, Mr. Bear! You did not hear anything! Don't even worry about- Okay, he blew up. Okay, we're going to go and try to loot him real quick. Hopefully not piss anything off. Oh, wait, no! I think that was the blowing up he does where he doesn't drop loot. And maybe this bear will help us in our cause. I'm not entirely sure if he's against the zombies or what, but... Oh, he blew up. Did he drop anything? Does he still drop stuff? Nope. We didn't kill him. We let him blow. Damn, that sucks. They drop such good loot before they blow. Whatever. But I think that's a good point for us to go out and end it off on. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.